Oh, as I said, setup for the most part was good. Square, square, square. Grip was all right. Shoulders were aiming left. When you try to bring your shoulders back, there you brought your feet back. Is okay. that the one I just done now? This was the one, um, maybe just before I can be fair, but your shoulders are getting squarer, but you're getting your feet back to sort of create that, okay? What we want to make sure is your body's more aligned up to each other. And this is all to do with because of the contact, okay? Your feet and your hips do not affect where the ball goes in terms of direction. These do, and that does. Yeah. And that's the, the thing. So if your shoulders aim perfect. left at setup, it's going to be A, harder to turn back fully 90 degrees, okay? And then you're going to be even more over the top on the way down. So this is your impact position as you came down to the goal ball, this one here now. Takeaway was okay. Okay, so taking the goal away nice there, okay? Top of the back, so you're getting out. As you start coming down, that right shoulder now is throwing at the ball. And when this right shoulder starts going too far this way, that's why you prefer the ball being further over there because you're going to reach out for it. When we did that slow swing and this shoulder really slowed down, you nearly missed the ball because the club was coming back here <laughs> because you weren't increasing that reach, you see, okay? So, I never knew it was that bad. as you come in the goal ball here now, that is just before impact there. You can see your shoulders aiming yeah. <laughs> over here somewhere, yeah? So that, and that's in some ways you were trying to hit a fade. And if you try to hit a fade when you're already coming over the top, it's going to be either a massive slice or the biggest pull in your life because you're going to use your hands to manipulate, okay? And then, of course, then you do so something different. about a fade in my head, just hit yeah, straight. Same straight. I hit it straight. It sounds daft and sounds simple. Aim straight, hit it straight, yeah? yeah? Don't set up to try and hit a specific shot that you're going to naturally hit. You almost think, oh, it's like saying to somebody who hits fade and they go, right, now try and hit a slice. They're going to hit an absolute banana rama, yeah? They could hit a fade anyway. So for you, it's going to be harder to almost draw the ball under control, okay? You can draw the ball right to left, or you can hit the ball right to left, but then it tends to start left and keeps going further left, yeah? Or you have to aim miles right a target to do that, okay? Yeah. So in terms of setup there now, good backswing here now. Club, you can see coming in, that shoulder staying back here now, yeah? Because it's not being thrown at the golf ball, okay? Look at your path there now. The club's coming more than the target line and through, okay? That was a bit healy, which is why it's had a little bit left, but at least when that ball's hitting the screen, it's kind of hitting the screen here somewhere, mm. and it hits your natural kind of shape of shot, as that last one was, okay? So you've got yeah. to neutralise your setup, but do so by not bringing that foot back, okay? All we do is bring this shoulder back, okay? So you were yeah. here, all we're doing, Drew, is that, yeah? What you were doing was this. Yeah. Yeah, and then you've got to move the ball position, then you've got to change something else, and then you add another thought to your head, and when a shot goes slightly awry, some you change something. Yeah, yeah. Where a square is actually. To me, yeah. That's probably. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Before I make that, that feels square. Exactly, back, so. exactly. Feel that right shoulder is back slightly, yeah? Okay, mate, makes sense? Yeah. Good man.